James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is June 20th, 2023, 12.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had an X flare, specifically an X 1.1 flare, pop off our sun. We're still in the middle of that flare. We're down in M territory, as you can see here. I want to get you some information about this very strong flare. As you can see, it actually occurred right before around 1700 UTC time. It's actually coming back down after 1800 UTC time. Although it was only in X flare territory for about 20 minutes maximum. Let's get some more information and take a look at that flare. The X flare appears to have been generated by Sunspot AR3341. We talked last night on our Space Weather Update about the seemingly reverse polarity and danger of that particular sunspot. According to NASA, it's only a beta sunspot. Not very complex at all, whereas 3333 has turned into a beta gamma sunspot. So uh, let's keep our eyes on 3333, although it mainly looks like it's dissipated. We have 3335 directly earth facing, 3339 coming around, and 3334, which has been extremely active. And it appears like it may be a reverse polarity sunspot, making it extra dangerous. Headed over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager. We can see the explosion coming out of 3341. That would be at your 8 o'clock position, but actually on the eastern rim. So we see the explosion happening right about the time we talked about and it looks like it would have expelled a chrono mass ejection although my guess is there won't be much of an earth component but we have to keep in mind it did hit our go satellite that only orbits a hundred miles above earth the sun being 94 million miles away and the x-rays also penetrated and hit earth we'll take a look at that right now as well but this is that explosion right here. One last look at it. And that's only the beginning of the explosion. We're catching this very quickly. Now, over to our X-ray absorption charts. We have been hit by an M2 flare earlier today, around 11 UTC time. That's what you see here. Uh, it's a substantial hit over Africa and all of Western Europe. I'm guessing that is from uh, AR3333. And you can see how strong that M2 flare gets. Wow. As we move on further through the day, uh, this is going to be the big hit. We've had lots of flaring today. It's been a very busy week. You can see that was another strong flare there. This actually looks like an M flare as well, an M1, if you will. Just barely made it over the hump, followed by a more serious flare, as you can see, lighting up all of the U.S., all of the Caribbean, and the northern part of South America, and most of Canada as well. A very strong X flare. And you would think it would have an Earth component, although it is very far on the, well, eastern side of our sun. You can see the radio alternation here. Ham radios and marine radio operators must have lost complete ability to transmit during this time period. You can see that it started... Uh, right at 1700 as we talked about and it looks like it dissipated right at about right before 1800 just like we had discussed 
All right, so we've had what looks like really three M flares, one being stronger than the other two that were precursors to the X flare. Again, the X flare was supposedly only an X 1.1, but it could have been much larger because it was not directly Earth facing. This is what our Go satellite picked up. It would be, well, much more geo effective if it was more Earth facing which I guess it soon will be and has become more so over just the last few minutes. God bless each and every one of you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.